what's going on guys welcome back to mr. JDM in this video it's just a bunch of uh, clips from the import Alliance spring meet in Bowling Green Kentucky it's pretty much raw unedited videos that I just kind of slapped together and this spans from two days it's the March 27th and the 28th the import Alliance meet in Bowling Green is usually in the fall and uh, this one's always my favorite just because it's closer to town or closer to where I live. It's like two hours away. And so I don't have to travel, you know, eight hours just to get to the meets. At this venue, they have a drift track and a drag strip. But this year, the drag strip was kind of disappointing. There really weren't a whole lot of fast cars. Um, Honestly, the fastest car there was a Honda Civic, and I think it, it did like 10s. And then the next car was a Tesla, and that was like at 11. I think 11, 2, 3 was the yeah, fastest. Cool. But there's there's normally a lot, lot of more, I guess, faster cars at the drag trip or at this show. But I guess with it being in the spring and not the fall, everybody's still working on their project cars because it's the beginning of the season. So it, it was kind of disappointing that it seems like a lot of these cars just weren't going very fast. And most of them look stock for the most part. You know, maybe a few uh, bolt-ons or whatever, but just none of them were fast. I mean, we're talking like, you know, 15s, you know, 14s, maybe a 13. But it was just, it was really disappointing. And I really like the drag strip. But overall, we, we had a really good time. Um... You know, there were a lot of pretty neat looking cars. Here's that black NSX. There were, to be honest, there were a lot of you American cars. Those. I was shocked. I get those but every those year, like it seems like more and more American cars are there. Mustangs, uh, Chargers, Camaros. I just, I, I don't get it. It's an import car show. You know, import guys aren't going to show up to, you know, American muscle car shows. I just... I don't understand it, but you know, whatever. It's got a supercharger. Where's the supercharger? Right here. Sucks air in and blows it into the engine. That's pretty cool. So this car here, it's a EK hatch with a, I believe it's a LS swap. It's pretty cool. Um, but this is the kind of car that I would expect to see at the drag strip. But this car never showed up on the on a strip. And it, this is the kind of stuff that's disappointing. You know, is this car all show? Is it not fast? Does it just look good? You know, these are my questions. Why not put this car in the drag strip? I mean, you're, you're at the show. It's obviously a car that uh, a business owns or they sponsor this car. So how come you're not you know, racing down the strip? It's a Japanese company that makes performance parts for Hondas. There's no performance in this thing. Though. It looks like it's stock.
But yeah, this truck brings me back to my early years when I really got into the whole car scene. I'd see these trucks all the time cruising Preston. It's it's pretty cool. It's definitely old school. Mm -hmm. It's got the Daytons on it. You know, the, the bed has hydraulics. Here's a couple EF sedans. And obviously, I'm an EF guy. I love EFs. The sedan, I've never owned one. I would like to, though. I think it's kind of dumb. Here are a couple of those um, K trucks. One of them's a Honda Acti, which I really like. I almost traded my Beagle for one of these. The white one's actually a Subaru. Mm -hmm. These two cars, the Honda City and the Honda 2600, are owned by Patrick. He's the one that owns the white wagon that I'm currently working on. Hopefully you made it this far through the video. I know it wasn't super exciting, but it's what I got. You know, I didn't record a whole bunch. You know, I just spent time with the family. We had a good time. 
But um, I guess I'll see you all in the next video. So I finally got a second monitor. I originally had three monitors, but they slowly just kind of quit working. And so I was down to one monitor and then I bought this monitor. And so I only had one monitor, but now I have two. Thank you, stimulus. But um, it, it, it's so much easier to edit videos when you have two monitors. I bought a new desk, but I don't have it hooked up yet or Put together just because I want to build some shelves and drawers for it so that'll come soon I guess <laughs>